Hey guys, I can't believe this, but I'm making bubbles, pearls. So this is like the bubble tea bubbles, or you call it pearls in the milk tea. And uh, it's actually pretty easy. Many countries, like uh, in Australia, I've seen they sell this in the supermarket. You can buy pre-made one, but unfortunately, they don't have that in Germany. So I decided to make some of those bubbles myself. Then I could also have milk tea at home. And we will need is this is brown sugar. This is, you can use other sugar, white sugar, honey, or any sweetening. But brown sugar will give this uh, pearls a bit of a darker color. This is the color we usually get from a milk tea shop. And we will also need some um, tapioca, tapioca starch. And that's why they also call pearls, tapioca pearls tapioca balls because it's made of tapioca starch and then just to melt our sugar in water just dissolve our brown sugar in the water wait until it start boiling Okay, you can see now sugar is totally dissolved in the water. We need this sugar water really. Get our tapioca flour ready and just pour it in. It has to be hot, otherwise our flour is not going to um, form a dough. Make sure there's no lumps in the dough. You can see now our dough is solid. You can add a bit more tapioca starch if your dough is a bit too diluted. So put a little bit of flour on top on our board so it's not gonna stick. A bit on our hand too. So everywhere flour. Now we're gonna knead it. So we kneading it. Now we can try to knead it. So let's see. Okay, we will need about um a size a little tiny little bit bigger than a soybean so you can use a knife to cut them now it's a bit hard work you have to knead them cut them first to small pieces the size you want for your balls or pearls and uh, just draw them a ball here it's about so could even be a bit smaller but this is you get the idea how big you want take a container a plate also a bit of flour in it this is just to prevent your dough gets sticky and put your made tapioca balls in it so these are our, our pearls. So I'm going to roll this like a machine and until we have all the tapioca balls made it. See here are all our tapioca pearls. Good Chinese who can make things like a machine. It took a while, so pretty much you have to pinch a bit of the dough and you roll it and put it around the starch and it wouldn't stuck together. And then, see, we can't finish all that at once. You can use a sealed bag and just 
you can store this in the fridge and give it a little bit of flour around it so they wouldn't stuck together and then you can leave these babies in the fridge for days like that and in the fridge that's how you store them